Hello, dear Quarterstone family. It's a joy to be with you this morning. It's Thursday, April the 16th, one week after Monday, Thursday. A week ago, Jesus was having his last meal with his disciples, and that's when he introduced the Lord's Supper, the communion meal we still practice today as a way to remember his sacrifice. He washed the disciples' feet, emphasizing our need to be humble and serve others. And after that, he was tortured, crucified, buried, resurrected, and appeared to his disciples for 40 days. As I've been reading afresh his appearances after the resurrection, it struck me that he didn't seem to constantly be with his disciples. Matthew records that they were told by the angel at the tomb to go to Galilee and he would meet them there. Mark records that he appeared to two disciples and then all of the 11. Luke tells us that lovely story of Jesus walking with two disciples on the road to Emmaus and later Jesus appearing to all of his disciples. John tells us that Jesus appeared to Mary, then to the disciples minus Thomas, then to the disciples with Thomas, and then at the Sea of Galilee when a number of them went fishing. And Acts starts off with one last appearance of Jesus as he ascended into heaven. I guess what struck me was why didn't Jesus just spend all of the minutes in the 40 days he was on earth after the resurrection and before the ascension with them? He seems to appear then disappear. Acts records that he appeared to them for during 20 days, not for 20 days, presenting himself alive to them with many convincing proofs. He ate with them, he showed them his wounds, he cooked fish for them, he spent time with them. But with all the stories of him appearing and disappearing, it certainly seems he was not consistently with them. You'd think he would take every waking moment of every day to pour his truth into them for as long as he could. However, as I reflected on this, I believe he was preparing them during this transition time. Think about it. Before this, the last time Jesus left them, it was swift and severe, and they were in shock, disoriented, and lost. They hid behind locked doors, afraid and not knowing what to do. Jesus knew he was physically going to leave them again, and the disciples had to be prepared for that. So I think he used this time to teach them many things, including what life will be like when he's not physically on earth, when he would ascend up to heaven. These would be very important words from Jesus that he would give to them. These were very important words for Jesus that we need to hear. As in our lives, we are disoriented and occasionally feel lost. Occasionally hiding behind locked doors, afraid and not knowing what to do. And there are words of teaching that, set the, that Jesus had set the stage a week earlier on Monday, Thursday. Keep serving others with humility and remember me through participating in communion. When it was time to go, as recorded in Acts 1, Jesus said to them, and he says to us, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. You and I now have the power of the Holy Spirit. We are his witnesses in all space, wherever we are. And how we sacrificially serve with humility reveals who God is. The Gospel of Matthew ends with Jesus saying, Remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Through all time, hold fast to this truth of the presence of Jesus and keep sharing with communion the bread and cup to remember Jesus' sacrifice and his presence with us. Cornerstone family, hear these words. You have the power of the Holy Spirit, so you can, with humility, serve others. And remember, never, ever forget that Jesus is with you everywhere and for all time. Let us pray. Jesus, when you were in your last days physically on earth, you revealed yourself to the disciples many times. Today, you continue to reveal yourself to us in many ways. A text from a friend when we need it the most, the beauty of a spring flower, 
a revelation from your scripture, a peace that descends into our souls when the world is shaking around us, and so much more. Help us to keep looking for your God moments. Help us to remember you are always with us and help us to live as your humble servant. We continue to live in gratitude for your presence. In Jesus' name, amen.